Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're looking at a bottle of beer from Arbor Ales in Kingswood, Bristol. And it is a bottle of their breakfast stout, 7.4% ABV. I picked this up online from, um, excuse me, uh, West Country Ales. The only place I've ever seen uh, Arbor bottles, to be honest. I've been selling it, this has been cellared since I bought it. I mean, we've got quite, we live in an old stone terrace house, and it's been sitting on my cellar steps for a couple of, uh, maybe about six weeks or something now. <coughs> but I've had um, a couple of beers from Arbor now, I've had a couple of their single hot beers, were very solid, and their black eyed PA, which was lovely. Uh, I'm sure you might have seen that review already. So, this is a um, breakfast stout. Let's get in the glass. I presume, though I've got no more details actually about it, I, I'm not one for reading bottles, I'll just have a little scan. What's it say? No, the print job's pretty poor. <laughs> I can barely read it. Uh, I'm sure it's just, I think I can see the word Brazilian, so I presume it's some Brazilian Santos roasted uh, coffee added to the end of the boil. Cook cacao nibs. Slow fermentation, blah blah blah. Cool. Oh, nice one. Interesting. Anyway, let's have a sniff. So, well, in in the glass, very dark, I'd say black, uh, towards the kind of mid to dark brown head. Aroma. Oh, lovely. Loads of coffee. Loads of really, like, um, heavy roast on that coffee. There's some black chocolate in the background as well. Really dark, heavy chocolate. There's a hint of... Soy sauce, adding a saltiness, but also adding a sweetness to it. Yeah, and maybe kind of like an earthy quality you get from if you overcooked a joint of beef, something like that. That smells lovely. That smells absolutely lovely. Anyway, cheers. Mm. Good about a body. Not too much, actually. Maybe I could have done a little bit more. It's a nice amount of carbonation keeps it. Progressing. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> it really kind of re uh, resonates around all your senses. Coffee does stand out, definitely. Without a doubt, a really nice, heavy roast on that coffee. The, the carbonation maybe is a bit too much for me. There's a bit of a fizz on my tongue. But the flavours are wonderful. But it is all about coffee. Uh, um, there is uh, most certainly the flavour of cacao nibs. I, I've brewed a, um, a stout with cacao nibs. And I can definitely pick out the quality that I uh, pulled off of um, using that, that um, um, specific... Uh, ingredient to, to get that kind of chocolatey flavour. I mean, it, everything I read is a is a better, truer way of pull, um, delivering a chocolate flavour in a beer. It's very dry. It's very. It's a tartness to it, and there's a mild acidity. There's a nice berry quality in there. There's a, like a bit blackberry, black currant kind of flavour in the background. I think there is a bit of hops, a little bit. Yeah, and at the back end, the coffee becomes a bit more kind of fragrant, um, and it kind of wafts around all your senses. And it's very enjoyable, it's very enjoyable. Uh, in, in comparison to something like uh, Michaela's Big Eat Breakfast, um, which has a, a lot more uh, body to it. I'm not sure if the class this is an oatmeal stout. Which, to be honest, I think it's a... If you had some oats, I think it, this would really it'd be the missing piece of the puzzle. A little bit more body would be nice, but this is a very, very tasty um, breakfast stout. Yeah. It's the kind of beer that I aspire to, to brew. I mean, this, this is a relatively small brewery. Um, doing things 
I guess the, 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 the couple, a couple of steps up from what um, somebody like me as a home brewer would hope to brew. I'm never going to brew a beer as good as this, but if I can get a little bit closer, I'd be very happy because it is a lovely beer, and I think it's, it is really making the most of it. A really pleasant um, coffee flavour. It's not too mental as well. Because I, I think some people, um, some brewers, when they're doing beers that are like this, what have been preceded by um, something like Mickler um, or like um, Breakfast Stout from Founders. Actually thinking about it, there's a lot of similarities. The breakfast style from Founders didn't blow me away like I hoped it would. But I think this has got a nicer chocolate edge to it because it's not an oatmeal stout. Yeah. Very good. I'm not sure about the label. But that's personal preference. I mean, it's all about my specific uh, artistic leanings. But yeah, very good. I've not been disappointed with anything I've had from Arbor. And to be honest, I'm certainly going to be buying some more because... Everything I've had, this Black IPA, a couple of the single hot pale ales, all, all very good to solid. And I, I, want, I want more. I want to try more and I want to experience more. Anyway, less waffle. So that has been Breakfast Stout from Arbor Ales in Bristol, 7.4%. And a very enjoyable coffee laden chocolatey stout. Anyway, I'm Rob from popzine.com. I'll see you next time. Cheers.